Yeah, this is a working ranch here at the Star B Ranch, and that is not an exaggeration to the size of animal bison can grow to be. Anywhere from 1,800 pounds for a female to 2,500 pounds for a bull. We talked to Ryan Burnett, the foreman out, the foreman out here, to see how they take care of their animals when fire threatens. We're on high alert all the time. Just keep your eyes and ears open. The Starby Ranch is in Ramona, and unlike other ranches in the area that deal with horses and cattle, they raise bison. We don't have enough trailers to haul 48 bison, but we would just do, do what we could do. So they've come up with a different way of dealing with wildfire when it comes. Just load up an area that's, that was the safest area of the ranch where the bison were, and just load that up with hay and water and keep them fed so they wouldn't be wanting to wander off. Ryan Burnett is the foreman at the Starby Ranch and says this way of protecting the animals has worked in the past. So have you, if you guys had to deal with any type of uh, fire situations in the past? Yes, the Witch Creek fire started right here in Witch Creek and it did, it burned a large part of this ranch. A lot of our fences got burned down and that's what happened to someone stayed behind and just kept dumping food out and kept them close. Since the herd is split into two parts, they might have to be moved. Again, food works wonders. Generally do as smoothly and calmly as possible. Um, you know, just drop the tailgate, let them see the food. And these guys would follow us almost anywhere, especially if food was in there. Uh, you know, in a fire situation, everybody's gonna be more, more, more panicky and less, maybe less likely to cooperate, but we'd have a secondary vehicle to help move them along. The technique is to keep the bison in one place and let the fire go around. These are our holding pens, our working corrals. Uh, they would easily hold all 48 of our animals in this larger pen if we had to. It'd be a little crowded, but it would work. But to be sure, Ryan puts up a 100-foot defensible space. We try and clear around all the houses as much as possible. And in this case, the corrals. And the corrals, yeah. And that strategy has kept the herd safe. It's the best we can do, yeah. Yeah, it does work. And one little twist to this story that we didn't put in the story is this year, Ryan is telling me they had 15 calves. So anyone that has children knows how tough it can be to kind of herd those little ones around. That's the other part he's dealing with out here. But for right now, it's a strategy that works. And the, well, the grounds here at the Starby Ranch are looking safe.